what is up guys welcome back to another video in this video i'm going to show you how to create a simple workflow that scrapes reddit posts with any 10 then filters the post and adds the filtered post to a google spreadsheet let's get started to scrape reddit posts i'm going to use this tool called appify appify an incredible tool that you can use to scrape any website and automate projects go ahead and create an account on appify and after creating an account on appify head over to appify store here we're going to search for the website that we'd like to scrape. In our case, we'd like to scrape the Reddit. Yeah. I'm going to search for Reddit post scraper and click on search. Yeah, I'm going to use this tool to scrape Reddit post. So I'll open it on a new tab. This is the tool that we're going to use to scrape Reddit post. So here we're going to add the subreddit name that we'd like to scrape the post. So I'd like to scrape post from the information subreddit. I'll add automation as the name of our subreddit. Here we can limit it to let's say 10 posts. You can also choose a category as either hot, new, top, and rising. I'm going to choose new. You can also choose time filter over here. You can see an hour. Here you can also choose a proxy country. But I'm going to choose to leave it as is and click on start. Yeah. I'm going to choose to rent this actor. So I'll click on rent an actor, then click on start, save and start to scrape our Reddit post from our subreddit. That our tool is running, getting our data right here. So you can see that our tool succeeded in scraping 10 posts from our automation subreddit. Here are the 10 posts that is scraped for us. We're getting the author, the body of the post, also getting the link and the title of the post. We can automate this process of scraping Reddit posts by creating a simple workflow in any To automate this process, we're going to use Appify's API. So on the right, just click on API and then scroll down below where it says get data set item and copy this link. And then on our workflow in NHN, here I'm going to search for HTTP request node. Here we're going to paste the URL that we just copied and then click on test step. Here you can see we're getting the 10 posts that we just scraped on Reddit. Yeah, here. here's the title of the post of the link the body and the comments of each of each post right here you can also view them as a json right here now here you can see we're inputting our link manually so we can automate also this process to do that we're going to use the webhook so i'll delete the trigger and here i'm going to search for webhook click on webhook right here yeah, for the method we're going to choose post and i'll copy the link to this webhook and here i'll click on integration and i'll click on setup integration here i'm going to search for webhook and click on webhook right here here we're going to name our webhook to reddit post scraper and then click on save we'd like to start when the run is succeeded you're going to paste the webhook url that we just copied and here i'm going to click on save to test it yeah i'll listen for a test and then on uh, File click on test. You can see it succeeded. Webhook was uh, connected successfully. And here we're getting a funny joke. Now to get our Reddit post, yeah, I'll listen for a test. And then, yeah, I'll go back to our tool. I'll click on input and then scrape our post again by clicking on start. Click on output, and you can see that our tool is running and scraping our recent Reddit post from our automation subreddit you can see it's actually in scraping 10 reddit posts from our automation subreddit and now here you can see we got our data right here our data is in this data set id over here so i'll click on back and here i'll connect our webhook to our http request node and open our http request node now here i'll click on expression and then instead of hard coding our data set id i'm going to grab our data set id from our webhook and drag it over here and then I'll click on test step to get our scraped Reddit post. You can see our 10 Reddit posts that we scraped using our tool. So here, I'll rename this to Reddit Scraper. And then here I'll click on rename. Now here, when you open our node, click on JSON right here, you can see we're getting a combination of uh, questions and automated responders over here. You can see this is a question. And then an automated responder over here. 
question and download from the responder. So we can choose to filter these posts and only output the questions. So to do that, I'm going to use OpenAI tool. So I'll search for OpenAI and here I'm going to click on message model. Here, you'll need, you'll need to create a credential over here by clicking on create a new credential and from your OpenAI API, add API key over here and click on save to create your credential. By creating your credential, here you'll choose a model. I'm going to choose a 4.0 mini model and here we can add the prompt for the system role. Click on expression and expand it. The prompt for this role could be in the lens of you're an intelligent Reddit analyzer designed to process Reddit posts and categorize them accurately. You can also add a user role right here. Choose it, click on expression, then expand it. Prompt for the user role will be in the lens of analyze the following Reddit posts and determining their type. And here we're adding our Reddit post to be analyzed, which is uh, this uh, post over here. So classify each post as one of the following categories, either equation, if the post is asking for information, advice or opinion. So categorize it as an automation example or setup, if the post describes an automation process, workflow or setup, or you can choose to classify the post as others, if the post doesn't fit the above category. Also adding some instructions where we're telling the tool, the tool that only return posts that match criteria, preserve the original wording, do not include any other classifications, suggestions, reductions, automated message, etc. If no post match, do not upload anything at all. Stay completely silent. And then here we're planning example inputs. Five posts are here, like this post over here. How do I automate my email follow-ups? This is the question. Here's my automation setup for lead tracking. It's an automation example. Everyone just joined this subreddit. This doesn't match our criteria. You should try the for automating tasks. This is a suggestion. Why is my screen failing when I use API calls? This is a question. And then the expected output would like only to output the question. The automation example and this other question right here. And then I'm going to click on back. And now to filter our post, I'm going to click on test step. We output 10 items over here. You can see these are questions, all automations example. Yeah, I'll rename this to filter Reddit post and click on rename. And here I'm going to click on back. And now we can add our filter Reddit post to Google Spreadsheet. On Google Sheet, I've created a spreadsheet that I've renamed to Scraping Sheet. Here, I have one column that I've renamed to Reddit Post. Here's where we're going to add our scraped Reddit Post. So on a workflow, I'll search for Google Sheet. Click on Google Sheets. Here, I'll click on Append Row in a Sheet. Here, you'll also need to create a credential by clicking on Create a Credential. Here, sign in with Google. Then on the new window that pops up, choose the account that you like to connect to any time. Since I had already created my credential, I'm going to close this and choose my credential over here. And here I'm going to choose our document. Choose this document right here. Scraping sheet. And I'm going to choose our sheet, which is Reddit post. And here we're going to add our Reddit post. And now to add our filtered post to our spreadsheet, I'll click on test step. You can see we added our post to our spreadsheet right here. 10 of them. You can see we added our Reddit post over here that we filtered on our workflow. We have the post over here. Combination of questions, automation examples. This is awesome. So here, I renamed this to Reddit post. And then click on rename over here, which is awesome. Now here, we can try and, and scrape posts from these subreddit called digital marketing using our workflow, filter the post using OpenAI and add the filtered post to our spreadsheet. To do that, I'll go back to our tool, click on our tool right here. And then here, I'll add the name of our subreddit that would like to scrape their post. You can scrape 10 posts. Category can say new, filter by another one. And then on our workflow, to test it, I'll click on test workflow. And here I'll click on save and start to scrape 10 posts from our digital marketing subreddit. You can see that our tool is running, getting our data. Here we're waiting for the webhook to get the scraped data. You can see it succeeded in scraping 10 Reddit posts from our digital marketing subreddit. Here we got the scripts data that we scraped using this tool. And here you can see OpenAI is filtering our post. And then we're going to add our filtered post to our spreadsheet. 
it's succeeded in filtering our Reddit post and we added our Reddit post to our spreadsheet. So here, when you open our node, you can see the 10 Reddit posts that were OpenAI node filtered and it added the Reddit post to our spreadsheet. Now, when we open our spreadsheet, you can see we added 10 more Reddit posts over here that we scraped using, using our workflow. You can see we are adding questions. You can see we are scraping posts from our digital marketing Reddit using the simple workflow that we created with any 10. So on Alpha, we are scraping the posts using our tool right here. Then we are getting the script data using our webhook. Then we're filtering the Reddit post using OpenAI and adding the Reddit post to our spreadsheet over here using our workflow. And then on our spreadsheet, you can see we're getting our Reddit post that we scraped over here. If you have a workflow or an AI agent that you'd like for me to create using any 10, just comment down below in the comment section. And if I land on your comment and I find it intriguing, I'll come back on a future video showing you how to create the entire workflow or AI agent using any 10 from scratch. But for now, thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.